So I've got a snowmobile. It was money I didn't want to spend, but it just had to be done. Excellent deal. Um, I think the resale value will be pretty good too. I mean, it's a heavy machine. It's a big heavy machine. I'm not a super huge fan of the weight because I'm a lightweight myself, so I prefer to have something a little more nimble. But I couldn't pass it up. I mean, the guy came way down in price and I figured it was worth it just, even if it's just for this season and uh, maybe I sell it at the beginning of next season and then, um, you know, get my money back and then go with something a little uh, easier for me to, to handle and something a little more enjoyable. So today, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna help my buddy out. Uh, he owns a cabin, it's just right in behind here. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna start his oil stove for him. He's gonna be coming by here a little bit later tonight. So we'll do that. And then I, there's a spot like that's within like maybe, I don't know, two or 300 meters of here where I might actually set up my tent because it's got a nice little uh, ramp into the woods pretty sheltered in there. I'm going to go take a good look and the idea is that I'm setting up this tent very soon within the next couple of weeks and then I'm going to take a big trip out here in March uh, or wherever I set up the tent and, um, and maybe spend a week coming back and forth spending a couple of nights. That's my plan. I've, I've booked some time off to do that. So yeah, let's go get the stove started. ever nice it's perfect if you ask me it's all you need and they take really good care of it it's uh, it's not huge maybe 16 by 20 bedrooms back there uh, you know a little kitchen area here pretty great I've never started an oil stove before, so I'm going to probably have to get Mark on the horn. I'm 35 kilometers outside of Yellowknife, but I do have signal. Okay, so he just sent me instructions. All you do with the stove controls is turn the big dial about halfway on, about a quarter turn. Okay. Uh, then wait two minutes or so. Then open the stove up and drop in a match or a little burning toilet paper. It should get the oil burning. But I don't know what he's talking about. Is this the big dial here? Oh. Oh, I don't know. Let's see. I'm gonna call him. Hey Mark. Hey. Okay, so the you say to turn like the big knob halfway. Which one are you talking about? The one inside? Because I've already opened it all the way up in the back of the cabin. Yeah, the one inside, the one right next to the actual stove. So there's like this thing that says Toey Over or something like that. Toey DVR. Is it that silver knob on top? Yeah. Okay, so halfway, eh? So Okay. I don't know which way to go. Right or left? Uh, to the right. So 
so there's kind of like on the knob it's kind of weird but there's like a little pointy part of the knob right yeah where it sticks out so if that's just sticking out sort of to the uh to the bottom to your, to, to your right yeah so you want me to turn the knob to my so if i'm looking at it, you want me to turn it upwards Okay, like almost pointing towards your bedroom. Does that make sense? I'm sorry, what's that? Like almost pointing towards your bedroom. Yeah, that's right. Okay, and then uh, give it a minute or two. Open up the actual stove itself. Throw a match right down in, eh? Yeah. Okay, let's see what happens. So it's pretty cold outside, it's pretty cold in here. It's like, it's about close to minus 30 outside. It's about the same in here. And I decided that since I'm here, I'm gonna thaw out a little bit because it did take me about an hour to get here on snowmobile. And uh, so I'm gonna thaw out my helmet because the visor got all uh, iced up. I'm gonna thaw out my balaclava. And while I'm here, I'm just gonna have a little bowl of soup. I brought some, uh, a can of soup with me so I'll eat that, I'll warm up, then I'm going to go check out the location that's nearby to see if maybe that's where I want to put my tent for the winter, and then I'm back home. It's really cold, my focus is really... Okay, I think we got it. These guys have a nice little uh, cooking area here. I think the propane tank is on the outside, I'll go turn that on and see if that works. Uh, and then I'll just, uh, like I said, have a little bowl of soup. Yep, just as I thought. Pretty good, what they've done here. Be smart. Let's see. There you go, it's open. Just gotta remember to close it when I leave. There we go, that should do the trick. So I'm a huge fan of chunky soup, especially clam chowder, and that's what I'm gonna do today. Gotta keep it simple. And I brought my own pot. I'm not going to dirty their pots. Okay. I'm going to have tea also.
Holy. So it's like, <laughs> it's still minus 20 or something in here. It takes a while. So I'm glad I was able to stop by and come in here anyway. It's, it's already warmer than it is outside. But uh, just to help out my buddy too, so that way when he comes a little bit later with his family, he'll be coming into a warm cabin. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna have a little bit of soup, some tea, some crackers. And then I'm going to go outside and see if I can find a spot nearby. I wanted it to be here, but it's all on an angle, going downhill. Oh, unfortunate. Okay, so as you guys saw there, the spot isn't what I wanted. I mean, I, essentially I went up a hill and came right back down the hill. You can't set a tent up on a hill. I mean, I suppose you could, but not the way I'm setting it up, which is pretty basic with just a steel frame. So, uh, still questionable where I'm gonna put it, but I think it'll probably end up back in the original spot where it was last year, which I can only access by snowmobile. So thankful that I ended up getting one. And uh, yeah, the setup should be coming soon. And like I said, in March, I will be uh, spending quite a bit of time out there making videos, having fun. Okay, thanks for watching. See you soon.